When you hear anyone talk about the 25-06, they always claim that it's the most underrated hunting cartridge in history. Well, how did it get this reputation? And is it even deserving of the reputation? Well, in this video, we'll do an in-depth review of this classic cartridge that even in modern times is held in very high regard by most expert hunters. Often affectionately referred to as the old quarter bore, the 25-06 started life in 1919 when the legendary gunsmith Adolf Needner started selling rifles chambered in his new cartridge. That's right, the 25-06 is 100 years old. Remington really legitimized the cartridge in the 1960s when they started selling model 700 rifles chambered in 25-06. With the backing of Remington, the 25-06 quarter bore was an instant hit with hunters who knew they didn't need magnum power for deer and antelope, but wanted something flatter shooting than the 243 and 308. 25 out 6 instantly became the go-to round for pronghorn. For decades, the 25 calibers were known as the Western cartridges because of their effectiveness on deer and pronghorn in open country areas. The 25 out 6 is a hunter's round. It isn't meant for punching paper at a thousand yards or being a best of the West fanboy. It was made to kill deer-sized game with authority inside of 400 yards with little recoil and a flat trajectory. Basically, the 25-06 shoots flat like a 22-250, recoils like a 243, and hits like a 270. So with all these positive attributes, why is the 25-06 so underrated? Well, that's because 25 caliber bullets don't have high ballistic coefficients. Modern bullet marketers have somehow convinced hunters that bullet BCs are extremely important. It's gotten so bad that many hunters are using rebranded target bullets to hunt animals rather than real hunting bullets that were designed solely to kill. Almost every ethical shot on a game animal is taken within 400 yards. At 400 yards shooting from field positions, ballistic coefficients do not matter. Never choose a hunting bullet based off of ballistic coefficients. Nosler partitions, Swift A-frames, and TSXs don't have high BCs, but they're considered to be three of the most effective killing bullets that money can buy. I hear guys talk about superior BCs with uh, rounds like the 243 or 6 millimeter, but uh, in a real life hunting scenario, the ballistics of your typical 25 out 6 load are far superior to those. So always choose a cartridge and bullet based off of how it performs inside of uh, three or 400 yards. Who the hell cares about what hunting bullets do at a thousand yards? You shouldn't because that's not hunting. The stupidest criticism of the 25-06 that I've ever heard is that it's overbore, meaning the ratio between case capacity and bullet diameter is too high. Well, I got news for you. The 243 or 6 millimeter rounds are just as overbore as the 25-06. As a matter of fact, the 7 millimeter Remington Magnum is probably the most overbore hunting cartridge in use today. But uh, you don't hear people criticizing that, do you? Ironically, the last guy who told me he didn't like the 25-06 because it was too overboard shot a 7mm Magnum exclusively. You know, overboard isn't good or bad. It just means that the cartridge needs a longer barrel and slower burning powders to achieve its potential. So ignore the overboard argument as it's just a bunch of internet hype spread by keyboard commandos. Now there is one downfall to the 25-06 cartridge. And that's the fact that it doesn't perform well in short barrels. Velocity is one of the secrets to the effectiveness of the 25-06 round. And those big charges of slow burning powders really need a longer barrel to take advantage of everything the 25-06 is capable of. Myself, I prefer a 26 inch barrel for the 25-06 cartridge. The 25-06 really isn't a good short barreled brush gun.
Out of all the deer and antelope sized game I've taken, the most dramatic kills I've ever witnessed have been with the 25-06. I don't know if the 25-06 just has that perfect combination between velocity, bullet weight, and recoil, or if it's just luck. But that 25-06 is a fantastic killing cartridge that's super easy to shoot. You know, even though 25-06 has killed everything in North America, including grizzly bears, it's really better suited for deer and antelope. Even though 25-06 is very versatile, it really is a little bit too much for squirrels and rabbits and prairie dogs. And it's too light to be an ethical choice for elk or bear. But for everything in between, it really is one of the best cartridges you can get. The old quarter bore is recognized the world over as one of the finest hunting cartridges ever devised. 25-06 is not only a favorite among deer and antelope hunters here in the U.S., but it's really prolific in Africa for killing plains game, it's heavily utilized in Europe for deer, and it's a legendary tool for kangaroo in Australia. The 25-06 cartridge truly is an international favorite among hunters. Twenty-five out six cases have always been super easy to make by resizing thirty out six or two seventy cases. But nowadays, reloading components and factory ammunition for twenty-five out six are cheap and easy to find. So ammo availability with the twenty-five out six is never a problem. Even Walmart carries it. The twenty-five out six is super easy to load for. You'll find that slower burning powders work the best. For bullets in the, let's say, 80 to 110 grain range, I highly recommend H4350 or H4831. For 115 to 120 grain bullets, I highly recommend Rotumbo. For bullets for the 25-06, you want a hard, deep penetrating bullet that'll hold together on high speed impacts. The best hunting bullets for the 25-06 are the Nosler Partition, the Swift A-Frame, and the Barnes TTSX. Of all of these, I really prefer the Barnes, but the 115 grain partition is a proven killer with decades of history behind it. Before Remington started mass producing rifles in 25-06 in the late 1960s, most 25-06 rifles were custom built on rebarreled Mauser 98 actions. This beautiful 25-06 built on a Mauser action is a classic example of what most 25-06 rifles look like back in the day. But nowadays, just about every rifle manufacturer makes rifles chambered in 25-06. So they're prolific, cheap, and easy to acquire now. Most experts agree that there's no better cartridge for a combination of CXP1 and CXP2 game than the 25-06. But the general public is so concentrated on sexy new cartridges and ultra high BC bullets that the 25-06 goes completely under the radar nowadays. It's one of those cartridges where everyone who's ever hunted with it absolutely loves it. And those who hate it have probably never tried it. So, in light of this analysis, I have to agree that the 25-06 is indeed the most underrated hunting cartridge of all time. Well, I really hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching, and good hunting.